welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So uh, this is a video on the, um, the organizing uh, video that everyone has requested for me to organize my threads, all these, I've got like loads of them, into um, this box, I'll just show you. Ta-da, big box. Um, actually, can I just show you? Like this. So they're gonna be organized like this. Um, and they are going to be put on, all these little baggies, which have got little holes in here, are going to be popped on to here. Now, these I bought on Etsy and these are great because I love the fact that they have CXC written on them. They do have them with DMC and other thread companies as well but as you know people that have followed me um, and watch my videos you know that I generally actually 100% apart from a few silks all of my stitching is on CXC with CXC thread. So I hope that this like setup doesn't kind of fall down on me. It's um, a little bit precarious at the moment. Um, I've got a, a table that it's that my setup's on, but the thing is it moves because the RV moves, or the camper moves. So when you move, it moves, which means that then everything can, tends to fall fall down. So I hope that this is going to be okay. So, what I thought I would do is show you what I have been doing, how I've been organising my threads. So I've got my stickers, just so I know what order or how many um, CXC threads I need, um, what order they're in and things like that. There are some that are missing, but it's unless you know what's missing, it's, you think that you've got threads that are missing, but you haven't. So, I've got my thread organizers I have got um, the little uh, I guess you call them binder rings that these connect onto now the other ones that I've done I have done another box these are very difficult to open and I don't know whether it's just because they're just difficult or whether I'm just really weak so I do have a pair of pliers just to kind of help open them up. Now what I have found uh, is that I'm not overly overly happy with these going on these. Now I'm trying to see if there's a way or if there's anything that I can buy that's got like one hook at the bottom and one hook at the, um, the top or one hook at the top one at the bottom almost like a, an S shape because that would be so much easier for me because these are such a nightmare to open. So, what I, what I do first when I organize is, well, how I've been doing it is because I've got some of these that are in two or three different baggies and I want them all in one, I've just been putting them all in number order and then as I've been going through them, I've just been transferring you know, one bag into another bag. So I'm going to see if I can bring you down to my level so that you can see what I'm doing. These are the little baggies. I got these from Amazon. Everything is going to be in the description box linked so you can find everything that I'm using. Right, I hope everyone can see that. So I have raised you up a little bit higher just because it just didn't give me enough sort of table space. So now I've got table space. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put these in number order in tens. So, um, 380s, 3810s, 38s, 200s, 300s, 400s, and so on and so forth. So, without further ado, let me just get these organised.
one line that is done. This one on here, um, I've got one missing. I, I don't know if I've got one missing or if we just don't have that number. Um, 3774, so I'm guessing it's 3773 and I don't know if we've got that number. If not, I'll just go through and I will move them all along one, which is gonna be a bit of a nightmare, but it has to be done. So I absolutely love these because these baggies keep them nice and clean and these keep them organized so I know exactly how many I have of each. And um, I am gonna put together a spreadsheet to keep a, a, you know, just basically keep a record of what I've got, how many colors I've got of each, or how many I've got of each color. So that is that one done. So on to the next. about the lights uh, I didn't realize that I'm in front of a window there and a window there and um, the Sun kind of comes around this way and so I feel like I lost you a little bit halfway through that video which is why I then kind of switched the light round um, switched the camera around so that it could kind of you know sort the light out a bit but um apologies so Thank you very much for watching. Like I said earlier, I will put all of the links to everything I bought at the bottom of this video. I will be doing a a whip um, and haul in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. I've got so much haul. Like you have no idea how much haul I've got. I've got so much. So I would absolutely 100% make sure that you subscribe, press that notification bell, 
and you'll be notified as soon as that video goes up because that's going to be amazing i mean like when i say i've got a lot i've got a lot so i've got loads to show people i've got frames i've got threads i've got um apparel like accessories i've got um new patterns i've got so much to show you so please stay tuned please come back and watch that video because it's going to be amazing but um, for now, I'm going to leave you to it. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Cheers guys. Bye